Welcome to Cameron Hall, the post of Virginia Military Institute. This is the home of VMI basketball, has been since 1981. And in just a little while, this building will be raucous once again with cadets and fans, and it will be loud as another VMI basketball season is upon us. Earlier, we talked with VMI head coach Dan Earl, who's entering his second year as head coach of the Cadets, to talk about this year's team. We want to play fast on offense, uh, but we want to make sure we're doing certain things, uh, both defensively, rebounding the ball, and taking care of the basketball. So I'd want us to be known for being a smart basketball team. We're trying to teach the guys uh, how we want to play, our style, our system, and be smart basketball players, as well as playing hard and physical and, and being tough. How has practice gone so far in, in the workouts and achieving what you just described? Yeah, it's going well. You know, we have six new faces, uh, freshmen, uh, so they're getting used to it, both college basketball on the whole, but also what we're expecting of them. So it's a new system for them. It's nice to have a year under our belts for our older guys, so they're used to our terminology, our language, uh, the what, what we expect. Um, so th they've been good in, in getting it, and uh, practice has been off to a great start. A lot of our success will be dependent upon our three seniors and their leadership ability, so they've been trying their best to lead the young guys. How far are you ahead at this point at, at the fall practice uh, compared to a year ago? Yeah, uh, extremely far ahead. Uh, and, and I don't mean, you know, we'll see what that, uh, how, how it affects winning wins and losses during the games. Uh, obviously, we want to win more games than we did last year. Uh, but we're, we're much further ahead. And again, it comes down to expectations from our guys, roles for our guys, uh, our terminology, uh, and, and what the guys can expect. They, they're getting used to things. Uh, and we're much further along than we were last year. As you're putting something in, it's new for everybody, you know, and they're learning you, your personality. You're learning your players, their personalities as well. So we're much further along this year. Certainly have a, a trio, a core nucleus of senior players uh, who can all score, uh, starting with QJ Peterson, Julian Ellaby, and Trey Chapman. Yeah, absolutely. You just mentioned, and, and I mentioned uh, our leadership from those guys will be a huge key to our success. But they all have done pretty well with that, and they're trying to lead the young guys. But certainly they can put the ball in the basket. You know, QJ Peterson averaged 19 plus per game, Julian Ellaby about 14 a game, and Trey Chapman about nine a game. And they both, they all can score the basketball. Um, we're looking for them to take care of the basketball a little bit better. Uh, certainly on the perimeter, our assist to turnover ratio was about one to one. So them making the right pass at the right time is something we'll continue to work on. Um, but they all rebound the ball pretty well as well, uh, as particularly for guards, Julian and and uh, and QJ really go back and rebound on the defensive end as well. So those will be uh, you know huge points for our success. Talking about rebounding, I would think that would be a key goal if you look at the stats last year and then also getting to the line. Yeah, absolutely. Two very important things. You know, keeping other teams off the glass in particular. Now, certainly we want to offensive rebound the ball as well, but keeping the opponent off the glass. So we have to do a better job rebounding. And it's really our whole team. A lot of times you think, hey, the bigs, they're more rebounders. Uh, but we need our guards to come back and grab defensive rebounds as well and check guys off and limit them to one possession. And then getting to the line is another huge key for us. Uh, you know, we shoot a very good percentage, particularly as far as uh, our guards. The guys that go there a lot, Julian and QJ, both shoot in the 80s and nine, low 90s for QJ. So if we can get to the line more, that'll certainly help us and, and really our whole team. So we talk about being strong with the basketball, getting, trying to get hand checks when we drive, shot faking down low, all those things that'll help us get to the line. Who are some of the key freshman contributors you see getting a lot of playing time on the court this year? Yeah, really, you know, it's wide open right now. All of them have a chance to play. Uh, some of the guys that have played a little bit more recently, Keith Smith is a point guard, as a freshman, very fast, pushes the ball, can see the floor, which is a huge key, and can knock down an open shot, which uh, which helps things as well. Um, will Miller is a power forward, if you will, a forward that's very cerebral basketball player, knows how to play, runs the offense very well, can see, can pass, and uh, can also make a shot from 15 feet, but also down around the post. So those are two guys. Garrett Kilkinson is another guy that really knows how to play and can pass, um, can make some threes as well. So, um, but all of our freshmen have a chance to play, uh, you know, sooner rather than later. Coach, can you talk about the schedule the Keydets will be playing this year and uh, the challenges they present? Yeah, we're going to challenge ourselves again early on the uh, non-conference. So we'll be playing Virginia Tech, Richmond, 
uh, Dayton and West Virginia, which are some of the bigger schools uh, out there. So, and then we'll have some return games, uh, Presbyterians coming in, uh, Gardner Webb, uh, Campbell. Uh, so we're, we're have some home and homes that are returning, and uh, we'll certainly challenge ourselves that way. And then obviously with the conference schedule, it's uh, extremely good, extremely competitive. It's your second go round in the Southern Conference, and I know you were very impressed with the quality of play. Uh, what you saw last year in your first go round in the SoCon. I was very impressed. Uh, you know, certainly some of those teams at the top of the conference, Chattanooga, East Tennessee State, Wofford's extremely well coached. Uh, you don't want to forget anybody, but it was a very, uh, very good conference, very good basketball. And not that I would expect anything less, but, you know, coming into the conference, you know, you know it heard a little bit about some of the better teams, Davidson, better programs, I should say, a Davidson, a College of Charleston that had moved out. So uh, you didn't ne necessarily know what to expect, but um, I'll tell you, very well coached league, very athletic league, and a lot of players in our league. So uh, our work will be cut out for us, but hopefully year two will go much better than uh, year one. VMI basketball gets the 2016-17 season underway on Friday, November 11th. They'll be playing at the Robbins Center, taking on longtime state rival, the University of Richmond Spiders. For Root Tube, I'm Wade Branner.